It's Carmen Banana with another fabulous recipe on Carmen's Banana Cooking. But wait, before we start the show, I want you to meet a real good friend of mine, Claudia, and she brought her good friend, Lucky. Now, wait till you see what Lucky likes. Lucky, come over here and let's give Lucky a little bite. Oh, look at this. Lucky? Look, here, Lucky. Lucky, Lucky, Lucky. Look, Lucky. Lucky. Banana. Oh, look at, oops, there it goes on the floor. Oh, the side of his mouth. That's where his banana oh, there goes. you go. Where's your the banana, banana tea? Right on the side. Oh, great. He eats like a bird. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> He's a Can't you? <laughs> now, Lucky, you've Come seen on, Carmen Lucky. before. Oh, oh isn't this the on. sweetest little dog. dog? Can you force her mouth open? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on, Lucky. Wait, oh, wait. No. Oh, wait, she's ate it. Oh, she, he ate it. Oh, he does mm. eat bananas. Oh, isn't this just the cutest? Oh. Now let's give Lucky, the banana eating dog, a big round of applause. Hey, Yay. Hey, Listen, Lucky. Claudia, how long have you had Lucky? I've had Lucky for about six months. Oh, there it, he goes. Oh, he's there he goes. Bananas. Look, he's even licking his lips. This oh, I tell you. Oh, look, there's television. more. I know, you know, we all know how Carmen was there the first time. Now, Lucky, turn around and, goes. oh, look, now she, he's, he's eating like an elephant. Lucky, now come over here. Oh, no, he isn't that the cutest thing in the yeah. world? Oh, Lucky loves the oh, bananas. look, look, look. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. He's been eating bananas since he was a tiny. Puppy. Okay, here, Lucky, have one more bite before you go, and then I've got to start cooking. Oh, oh, Good how dog. cute. Okay, honey, I think he's full. Think isn't he's he? Full. Thank isn't that you, fun? Carmen, that was a lot of lucky. fun. Goodbye, yeah. Lucky. Oh, I tell you, Thank Carmen you. loves her friends, doesn't she? Oh, that was great, folks, wasn't it? Oh, I tell you. Okay, now let me see if I can find a little towel to wipe my hands on. Tonight, because tonight we have a wonderful recipe for you. It is called Lulu's Banana Split Pie. Now, first of all, before you make this banana split pie, I want you to remember something. I'm giving you a warning. Honey, don't make this pie for anyone unless you love them, because I have never seen anyone that ate this pie that didn't fall in love with the person that made it. Mm -hmm. So, honey, make it for the one you love because they are going to be in love with you. Woo! I tell you, I get, I get so excited when I start cooking, so let's start immediately. Okay, the first thing you do is to get, oh, well, you know, a package of, of uh, cream cheese and throw it in. Throw it in the thing. Now, this is a little bit difficult. Let me just throw this down here to do. But cream cheese is hard to whip unless you have, of course, whips and chains with you. But the next best thing is the beater. So you have to bring the cream cheese to room temperature and beat it. Now, this is gonna take a while, because, you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world to whip cream cheese. Now, as you're whipping it, what you do is scrape it off. Boy, look how this cream cheese just sticks to everything. Boy, I tell you. Okay, now first, now you do is you slowly add the sugar. Now, the recipe says to call for one cup of sugar, but I don't really like that much sugar in my recipe, so I cut it down to a half a cup. So, you know, who cares if it's a cup or a half a cup? It's gonna be sweet enough. Boy, I tell you, this is not gonna mix up real well, but just keep mixing it up until it's nice and fluffy. Okay, now you may have to stop it occasionally because you know how this uh, cream cheese wants to go straight to the middle of the beaters. So that's all right. Just take a few seconds longer. Whip, cut, pull it out of the beater. Gosh, I tell you. Okay, it'll be just a little while longer. Okay, now, you know, I met Lulu when I was in Dallas a couple months ago and told her I had this banana recipe on Channel 10, Austin Access, ACTV, and she said, honey, you have got to try the banana split pie because you are going to love it. Okay, so just keep whipping this up like this. See, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, 
but once you get it off the beater, see, it sort of goes a little bit. Now, remember, it's got to be on whip. It can't be on stir or low or mix or anything like that. It's got to be on whip. Okay. Now what you do is... Okay. Woo, look at that. Ooh, some crew member is going to love licking this beater. Mmm, mmm, wasn't that? Mmm, that was delicious. Okay, now what you do is you get a spatula. Let me get in my little sack and get the right spatula. Oops, that's not one there. So now what you do is you get a graham cracker crust. Now, everyone knows how easy it is to make a graham cracker crust. You just get a cup of graham crackers, some margarine, a little sugar, and mix it together, and then press it in. But honey, who has time to make all that stuff? So you know, you can buy these things in grocery stores, and they taste just as good as if you made it yourself. So anyways, get a graham cracker crust, or make it yourself, whatever you want to do. It doesn't make any difference to me. And take this fluffy, look at this little fluffy cream cheese. Oh, take this stuff and carefully, Carefully, oh look what I just did. See what I mean by carefully? If, you be, if you're not careful, you'll just mess it up the way I did. Okay, do that. Keep scooping it in. I had never in my life heard of a banana split pie before, but I tell you, I'm not even gonna tell you the story about the Friday night that I made this for a special friend of mine. Ooh, boy, I tell you. It really was love at first sight when they saw this banana split pie by Lulu. Okay, now you're getting the picture about spreading this in like this. So to be careful with it because see what I'm just doing to the crust, but you know, it's all right. Everyone knows how to do it the right way. Okay, okay, here's the, the, the fluffy cream cheese. Okay, now that's that. Now the next thing you do, is you take your favorite fruit and start peeling it very, very slowly. Because we all know what happens when you start cooking your favorite fruit. Okay, here's one. And Let's find another. Oh, I just can't decide which banana to use. They're all so fun. Yes. Whoop. Sometimes they just refuse to peel. Okay, so keep peeling. And, oh, I tell you, just looking at bananas make me hungry. Okay. Now, wait, I guess two is going to be enough. So let's see. Now what you do is you just slice them lengthwise. Okay like this, just like you would a regular banana split, and you put one there, and you put another there, and then cut another one. And of course, you know how bananas are. Don't really worry about how it looks, because it's not how it looks, it's how it tastes. <laughs> okay, get all the bananas in there. Okay, so now we have that. Now, what you do for a real banana split pie is add your crushed pineapple. And all you do is look at this. Okay. And, you know, this is just a, a small can of crushed pineapple. And you notice that you can do this anywhere. I mean, look, if I'm doing this at the studio, you can do this in your living room and just all of a sudden don't have your little, your little friend move and just show up with a cute little dessert like this. Okay, that's that. Well, here's a little bit more left in there. Let's do that. Okay, now what you do is the fun part because you use whipping cream and have fun with whipping cream. Now, of course, you can get regular whipping cream at the store and whip it up and all that, but, you know, you, this, this uh, instant cream tastes, you know, pretty good. Who cares? Okay, are you ready for the little fluff? Here it goes. Now, start at the center and just give it a good shake, first of all. You know, you gotta shake, rattle, and roll. Okay, here it goes. Woo! Okay, now that is a little bit... Okay, perfect. Oh, good. Now, here comes the fun part, because 
for it like a true banana split. What would a banana split be without maraschino cherries? And of course, I like to leave the stems on them because some people don't like maraschino cherries. Don't ask me why, you know. If you have a dog that likes bananas, surely you can have a person that doesn't like maraschino cherries. So, look at this. Isn't this looking cute? Here's one without the stem, but that's all right. Okay, now what's next? What would a, what's the next thing you put on a banana split? Pecans. Okay, so get some pecans. Here's some that Dad shelled himself. And now the recipe says chopped pecans, but you know, these are just too pretty to chop up. I mean, look at these pecans. I mean, you know, an expert cracked these. So let's just, oh look, I see a little stem. That's the worst part of this maraschino cherries. Okay, that's perfect. Now just sprinkle some of these pecans over the top. Mmm, look at this. Oh boy. You can see what I mean by falling in love. Okay, just put them everywhere. You know, you want to make sure that everyone gets equal amounts of pecans. Look at this, look at this. Ooh! I mean, now this is banana split pie. Ooh! Thank you, Lulu. Listen, I know the crew is just dying to eat this. So listen, why don't we just hold off for a few minutes. Let me serve this to the crew. And here's the little plates right here. Because, you know, we do have the best crew in the world. This time I even brought plates, boy. Okay, now, the recipe says to hold off for a couple hours. <laughs> well, forget it. Who can hold off for two hours once you've made this delicious pie like this? You know, so let's just see how it's going to look. Oh, I can tell this is going to be a beauty. Okay, let me get the cute little plate over here. This is going to be a beauty. Okay, I know we're going to be fighting over the first piece tonight. Oh, well, it's all right. There it is. Banana split pie. Listen, mm, thanks a lot. Thanks to Claudia and Lucky Stars. It was a great time cooking. Stay tuned next time while I have even a different recipe for you next time. Wait. sugar, two bananas, one kind of can of pineapple, one cup of whipping cream, and cherries and pecans. Now you have the recipe. Good night. Good night from Carmen, and enjoy your banana split pie. Oh, my cats and nets are falling apart. That's what I'll see them